What's going on everybody? Kyle Jaswinski here. Happy Friday. You know what that means. Well, of course you don't. It's because it's the first time I'm doing this. And what is this exactly? Making beats and drinking beer. So we gotta go to the store, get the goods. Let's make it happen. Yeah. So we had to wander the parking lot to find this. Wesley doesn't just get in any kind of shopping cart. He gets in these. I am. Awesome. So my new series called Making Beats and Drinking Beer. So we're okay. buying the beer right now. Yeah. Alright, we found the beer. Now it's all about decisions. Sometimes I make a six pack, which requires even more decisions. So I recently made Song Grotto, Being in the Mountains, and also remade HIP HOP, a hit from back when I was in Colorado. So I'm thinking very much Colorado right now, maybe something out of Colorado. I'm just gonna stick with my state. New Belgium, Fort Collins, Voodoo Ranger, 8 Hot Pale Ale. All right, let's roll. If I was wondering if I made the wrong decision, I did. My beer was a dollar off. Ready to go? Alright. What's up? Okay, I settled on New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger 8 Hop Pale Ale, as if one hop was not enough. To the left? Take it back now, y'all. Eight hops this time. None of which are listed on the bottle. It says, brilliantly balanced for easy drinking. This pale ale is packed with citrus and tropical fruit flavors from eight different hop varieties. There's not many mountains where I live. Back to the point. Fort Belgium. Did I say Fort Belgium? Fort Belgium. We're gonna drink beer, we're gonna make some beats, we're gonna talk about it, but mainly it's just an excuse for me to drink beer and talk to you guys and describe the flavors of the beer. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. I normally don't do this on camera, I just open it. And I normally don't do it sitting down because I'm in the kitchen, set it on. It's not the same. Let's taste it. Ooh, that's really good. It does have that citrusy flavor. It's got the, the hardiness, the beefiness of a pale ale, but it's smoother. I need to know more words to describe beer. What did I say? I said, make some beets. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Last night when I tried this, I just ended up drinking, trying to make a beat, which was not the best, and then falling asleep. I'm still drinking that same beer, so let's get it cracking. <sighs> Cheers. So to start off, we're gonna collect samples. I'm gonna keep it legal and easy by using two websites. The first website is freemusicarchive.org. The second is freesound.org. To ensure that I don't repeat the same mistake that I did last night, I'm gonna set myself a timer and challenge myself to make this beat as quick as possible, or at least within the 40 minutes that I'm gonna give myself to do it. I'm gonna start that now. We're gonna start on freemusicarchive.org. Let's type in eight for the eight hops that are in this bia. I'm gonna look for instrumentals. So the first one I see there is called Squire Tuck in 18th century something, something, something. I think we can chop this up. I dig the keys. I dig the strings. Let's just download that for the sake of time. Not feeling it. It's awesome though, just not for this. 
in in the genre sound art. I think another name for sound art is music. It just sounds like record static to me. It's art. You have to appreciate it. I'm pretty sure this is all this is. We're wasting time. All right, for our drums and other sounds, we're going to jump on over to freesound.org. Let's get to it. I'm going to get really easy with it. Bass kick. Punchy trance kick. That's tight. Clap snare. Kind of cool. I like the reverb tail on it. Combo clap. That's tight. Shaker. Feel free to use it. We will. Bass. How about something from Colorado? To continue this Colorado Voodoo Ranger 8 hop pale ale journey of making beats and enjoying it. Type in just Colorado. Afternoon Orchestra, Old Colorado City. Love that place. That's tight. I like birds. Lastly, let's type in Voodoo Ranger. No results found. Kind of creepy. Okay, I'm not trying to channel any evil spirits, so we're not going to use that. Or that. That's tight. Scratchy voodoo loop. That's cool. Yumble Mumaji. Mechanic in voodoo trance banging tools and wrestling with machine. Wrestling with machine. Aren't we all? Like this camera. I got this goofy stand for it. All right, we're all done collecting sounds. Let's get into Ableton and start making this beat. Okay, I'm just under 30 minutes, so let's get to it. So you can see the waveforms. Um, the left and right channel are completely different, so I'll just listen to one side of it. It looks like the left is a little bit more mellow. right side that's where the piano is at that's tight so I'm gonna split them later because the piano transients you can see the the waveforms the waveforms the waveforms you can have Ableton like basically chop it up for you I started making beats when that was not really a thing and I do it the way that I like to do it drag and drop that sample Onto the drum rack, make a bunch of copies, and now we chop. That's tight. So you'll find new rhythms in the sample. Now let's go back to what I said before about splitting the left and right channels. I think that'd be really cool. That will be our strings. <laughs> be our piano. One thing I like to do is take a sample, like this one, and make a copy of it, but then on that sample, take the front of it off so you just get the tail of it. It sounds super cool, especially with pianos. I think I'm gonna do that with all of them. Strings in there. Ooh. Cheers. Whenever you chop up a sample, if it has a little click in the beginning, just do a little fade in, just a few points of a millisecond, and it'll sound just fine. Nice. I chopped up the key side of the mix, which was the right side, and the string side of the mix, which was the left side, and I kept it in key, so it's in the same progression, so it sounds good. Awesome. Piano sounds a little muddy, so let's drop an EQ on it. I'm just gonna take everything below 180 hertz, maybe even more. Add some reverb to the strings. Turn down the pre-delay a little bit, and make it just a little bit drier. Then let's also make our drum beat right quick. 
egg shaker. We've got our punchy kick. Hard 909 like snare clap and then that's kind of cool too. Which in my good hip hop heart is all you need for a beat. Sample, bass, drums. Done. Let's get this drum beat going. I'm going to just find little slices of this shaker. Cool, gives it a nice natural feel. It's got the little shaky. We didn't take all the shakiness out of it. That's kind of wild. I'm gonna fade that out. Filter it just a little bit to kind of clean it up. I'm gonna do a dirty filter. Instead of playing them out, I'm just gonna write them in. Do you hear the birds? Anyway. Birds are cool. Speaking of birds, where are the birds? Dude, I know I downloaded some birds. Okay, where are the birds? We have to find the birds. Nine minutes left and I'm finding birds. Stupid birds. Here they are. Silly birds. We're gonna start the track off with birds. Power has been restored. The original remaining time left will resume now. First. Now we got the bass. It's kind of plunky. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, the birds are chirping. That's just gonna play in the background. Oh my gosh, one minute. This is actually kind of exciting. Ah, 30 seconds left. That's way too much bird. 10 seconds. Let's put a limiter on the master track. And that's it. Woo! Not bad for not being mixed at all. I meant to put the auto filter on the strings so when the verse came in, it would have that cool mellowed out, like Pete Rock sound. Um, I'm not even gonna sparkle it up a bit. I'm just gonna put the filter on the strings just so it's not completely annoying, but it's gonna be about a minute long and I'm gonna play it right now. you're still here. Thanks for watching episode one of making beats and drinking beer. Two lovely things that I will do regardless if you watch or not. But if you do, make sure to subscribe. Peace!